so cool. <laughs> Immersive virtual reality can be really challenging for our brain. We have this very rich visual feedback that the brain has to integrate with our other senses. The sense of balance, the sense of whether we're moving or not, the sense of how our body is located in space. And up to now, nobody really asked how this affects children. What we found is that the current developmental model, which describes how children acquire this ability to coordinate their upper body, is not able to explain the behavior we observe in immersive virtual reality. The developmental model states that in any condition, the younger children should display this strategy in which they move the entire upper body as a whole. Do you see mountains? Yes. Okay, and the lake? Instead, what we observed is that in the case in which they were controlling with their torso, the younger children would decouple their head and their trunk, as if they were trying to control the game with their head. This is not predicted by the model, and it's not something that has been observed before in conditions outside of the, of the virtual world. Okay, you see the line, it's above you. <laughs> <laughs> we designed an experiment in immersive virtual reality. In one of the games the, the children were asked to play, the scenario is that they are sitting on the back of an eagle, which is flying through a landscape, uh, and there are little golden coins in this landscape that they have to catch. But they have to tell the eagle where to go to catch these coins. And they would do this in two different ways. One is with their head. They would move their head to the right, to the left, up and down to make the eagle do this movement. In the other condition, they would do the same, but with their upper body. We tested this on about 80 children and 20 adults to compare with the results of a fully grown up brain. What we saw with the adults is that when they were controlling with their head, they could separate the head and the body and they were just moving their head. Instead, when they were controlling with their trunk, they were moving their entire upper body as a whole. This shows that adults have this ability to select the appropriate strategy, which younger children have not acquired yet. Our results first show that the current developmental model is incomplete because it cannot account for this condition. So we need to revise this model. Another very important implication is for the users of virtual reality. VR has been used more and more for physical rehabilitation, particularly for children because it's fun, you can create a lot of scenarios. But our results show that when you train movements within VR, you do not train the natural spontaneous movements of children. And this is very important to know when you design a therapy.